to be so close and then still not get in and not have any uh, accolades for it. We just wanted redemption now this year and we just want to fight for everything. It left a really nasty taste for the Blue Devils after the season was over. It was real sour to us. We really wanted to get there and was so close and this year I have confidence that we're going to make it there. It could have been another first down, one less penalty, or any number of outcomes that led to a sixth Quincy High win and a playoff bid in 2011. But their painful truth remains. The Blue Devils were left out, and the offseason gave Rick Little's team more than enough time to fuel its fire. I know the guys were disappointed, and that's that's something that uh, you know you springboard into the next season. But uh, the fact that you know we, we, we still were a winning team, you know we had a winning record. That's something that certainly these guys you know want to take that momentum from a winning season and, and springboard that into the to, the to a winning season in the playoffs. And in order to get that sought-after invitation to Week 10, Quincy will need stops as the Devils look to offset the losses of D'Angelo Dean and Wes Irvin on the defensive line. Of course, we had the great DNs that were before us, and that kind of looms over our heads, so it makes us better as uh, defensive ends, I guess. We've never been the most talented group. Um, just as a younger class, we didn't win a lot, but we just fought, and we just turned a bunch of scrappers and fighters, got to where we are. Well, we've had a lot of kids that stepped up over the summer and worked out came to all the camp stuff and worked hard and like they've trained with us so they know what they're doing. As he searches for the right combinations on defense, Rick Little must do the same with his offense. Opponents are sure to key in on junior playmaker Malik Robbins, forcing Little to choose from an array of quality players that will help diversify his attack. Put me at fullback, which is, you know, it's different, of course, but uh, as fullback you get a lot, of, a lot more touches. So. Main thing is right now, I might not get as many touches, but we have great uh, running backs that can uh, get those carries that can do the job just like, you know, maybe I would. You know, we've got a few other pieces too that really uh, um, I'm really, really excited about, you know, that um, you know, Malik certainly is a centerpiece of any offense probably that he would step into, but um, there's some other pieces that we like a lot. Um, there's some guys that, you know, a, a Cameron Adams, a, a Seth Holschlag, an Aaron Mott, um, who, who are some tight end receiver for us. Um, I think you know Connor Kelly's gotten better. Matt Bilgery, uh, Parker Schutte, um There's a, a Dakota Downs that can play some fullback. River View. There's a whole bunch of backs that we feel like we can run in there and, and that do a great job. They're not just names I'm throwing out because I feel like I need to mention them. They're, they're quality uh, individuals and quality players. So we're excited about that and feel like that's something that's going to be uh, be huge for us this year. There's legitimate reason to believe the Devils won't have the door slammed in their face for a second straight year. Quincy hopes to prove that it can bounce back from disappointment and become stronger in doing so. I think it would be a lot better this year. We communicate really good this year. Last year, not so much, but I mean, we might have, not have the biggest guys, but we got some fast, smart guys, and I know they'll make their blocks. Last year, I didn't think we focused enough on family and uh, staying together this year. That's our main thing. Uh, being in shape is really big right now. Uh, I think we have both of those coming up really big right now. We're a lot more close as a team. We've been together forever, and we're close family, team, everything. If anything, 2011 taught the Devils that it's never too early to build your postseason resume. And by late October, we'll find out just how much they've learned. You feel like each and every day of practice, you feel like you're getting better, and you feel like uh, uh, there's just a lot of upside. So hopefully that continues. And, and next to the guys that bought in, they got a great attitude. I and mean, they, they come to work every day ready to, to, to come to practice every day ready to work and, and just have that workmanlike approach. So we're excited about it. We feel like the, the, uh, the upside is tremendous.